say that we will not be doing hot cocoa bombs today. We're gonna be doing holiday bark instead, but that's because the mold that I was supposed to be using isn't here. And, but it's fine because the queen can improvise. So we're gonna do holiday bark instead. It's basically the same thing. Um, not basically the same thing, but I'm gonna do hot cocoa bombs on another live. And I'm just gonna change the name of this live after the fact to holiday bark and not hot cocoa bombs. Hey y'all, what's up? So I've been dog sitting the majority of the day or all day um, and for my mom and I've been really productive. I have a potpourri on the stove and I made a really cute aesthetic video for y'all that I'm gonna post after this, which is the potpourri. Um, and I did it the way that y'all wanted me to. What's up, Barb? And what's up, Sapling? Um, and let's see what else did I do. Oh, and Vlogmas is in full swing and I'm really, really, really trying to participate. So um, we have Vlogmas number two that was posted and then Vlogmas number three will be tomorrow and then Vlogmas number four and we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do as many as I can. Um, Bunny Boo, we're good on mods. How's everybody doing? Just like um, Sapling asked, how is everybody? Happy Friday, y'all. I was gonna go to a holiday party tonight, but the person I was gonna go with canceled. Um, it was my mom. <laughs> and I was like, she was like, I don't wanna go. I was like, okay. She was like, really? I was like, yeah, I'm good. I went to a holiday party last night and I just got back from LA where I was like, you know, in my Christmas outfit, you know, red and green. Like I'm peopled out. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> uh, hi, chicken nugs. Oh, how many mods? I'm not sure. I'd have to go on and see. Um, but yeah, we're good on mods. Hey, Buttercup. Um, okay, so tonight we're going to be doing Holiday Bark. Um, we actually have so, we actually have enough mods that some we might not need anymore. I'll go through the list. I can look in my advanced settings um, and see who's active and who's not. Um, we're going to be doing Holiday Bark. I have Crushed Peppermint. I have... Holiday M&M's, marshmallows, I'm not using that, and then sprinkles to put on it. So basically the toppings for my hot cocoa bar we're gonna use on the bark. Um, this is really easy to do, and basically it becomes bark when you put it in the freezer. So yeah, super easy, and pretty sure I do this like every year. It's easy to bring to potlucks or like holiday parties or whatever. If you need to bring something like the bark's really easy to make. Hydrate. Amelia says, hi Maddie, thought of you today. Okay, thought of you today when I picked up a nice candle from the Dollar Tree labeled as a bougie parfum. <laughs> yes, it's fancy. Yeah, someone was like, bougie means candle in French or something like bougie bougie means candle but but I like to joke and say like oh they said it not me because it says like bougie and then like the slash and then it says candle at Dollar Tree <laughs> oh, oh yeah. sapling saw a creator butcher holiday bark see here's the thing about my recipes my DIYs if I'm on live and I'm doing it on live there is a 25% chance it will be butchered. There's a 25% chance it will be butchered. If I'm making a video, it's something that I know how to do. It's tried and true because I'm not going to sit here and waste my time. Um, so, yeah, if I'm on live, there is a chance that it gets butchered like before when I tried to do the, the popcorn and I was trying to melt the butterscotch and it got all disgusting because I added oat milk to it. Oh, Barb's about to go eat Culver's. Tyler! Tyler! 
I'm calling him. I'm calling him from heaven. Tyler, we love Culver's. Like literally he put me on to Culver's. Um, when he took me to, he took me to, I know that was so dramatic, but literally he took me to um, Chicago. He took me to like that area and I ate Culver's for the first time. And when I tell you that I fell in love, I got their custard. He was like, we have to go, we have to go. And I was like, well, it's a fast, is it like fast food? Like I don't get it. And he was like, no, 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 no. It's so much more than that. And I was like, okay. And I got like, I think a chicken sandwich. Like we went multiple times, multiple times because after the first time I was like, okay, so we're gonna be eating this the entire trip. Um, Their food is so good. It is literally the best like fast food I've ever had in my entire life. Um, no, 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 no. And literally it's the best um, fast food I've ever had in my entire life. Um, Culver's, like literally I never stopped bothering Tyler about it. Um, there was a Culver's two hours away from where my parents lived in South Carolina or something. And that was like the nearest Culver's to us because we lived in Virginia. And I was like, and he said he'd drive me. He said he'd drive me. <laughs> but we didn't go because I was like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like, we, we don't got to go like that far. But when we were in um, the Chicago area, uh-huh. And I was like, please take me back to Chicago. Please take me back to Chicago. I need Culver's. I need Culver's. He took me to Ohio. And that's when I had um, hot dogs. Like, I know Chicago does hot dogs too, but... Um, they did the different, the, the chili dog or whatever. Um, I didn't like that as much as the Chicago food. Chicago food, I was like, eh. But Culver's, ah. Okay, anyway, sorry. Let me stop talking about Culver's, but that's why I screamed because I'm obsessed. And when I tell you I'm obsessed, I literally was like tagging them on social media, like, I love you. Like I was simping on their social media, like commenting, I love you <laughs> on Culver's social media. <laughs> but yeah. Chicago is a beautiful city, and I got to see the bean, too. He took me to the bean. And I saw Jake from State Farm. He walked out of the hotel, like, that was, like, near the bean. And I was like, because, you know, he was, like, you know, decked out. I was like, okay, we were on bikes or whatever. He turned around. I saw his face. I was like, that is Jake from State Farm. And I've learned to not be like, ah! People don't like that. Um... Just, just mind your own. If anything, if anything, don't even, don't even act like you know who they are. Just be like, <laughs> humble them. Just kidding. But no, just, just play it cool. Don't be like, oh my gosh, hey, that's Jake from State Farm. I was like, you know, saying that internally, but I waited until we got to the bean to be like, that was Jake from State Farm. All right, let me read the chat real quick. Um, I'm gonna great mood because I've been with the dogs all day and I made potpourri and I just had a really good day. Have I ever had cookout? Yeah. Shout out the flower edits. If you've never had coffers, should you get it? If it's an option for you? Yes. Yes. Get, I get the custard. Yeah. You gotta get the custard. Uh, yeah, so it's like, it's fast food, it's like sandwiches, it's like, um, I didn't even explain what Culver's really is, it's like custard, sandwiches, it's, think about like Chick-fil-A plus like custard, but like you can get, like, Chick-fil-A plus like custard Dairy Queen, if Dairy Queen was like custard, like they have like that full menu plus like Chick-fil-A, like chicken and like, I'm pretty sure they have hamburgers and cheeseburgers too, I don't know, because I don't eat that, I always get chicken, so... Oh, Barb, you're in Chicago. That means that you have Garrett's popcorn as well. Uh, which, there's a Garrett's popcorn in Las Vegas. So, but for a long time, I was like, because when we went there, we got popcorn too. Someone said, we just got a Culver's here in my town. My wife told me it's life-changing. Yeah, it is. It's life-changing. I never let my husband hear the end of it. I was like, hey, like, when's the next trip, when's the next trip to Chicago? Or when are you driving me? <laughs> um, I, I, am, I am nowhere near 
um, a Culver's. I don't think there's even Culver's on the side of the country. I'm I'm um I'm in Las Vegas, so, like I don't really think that there's. I'm sure I looked it up before we moved, and I was like, we're we're leaving, right? Like there's no more going to Culver's. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Oh, happy birthday, Haley! Someone wants to see the hot cocoa bar. Watch my video; it has the best view. But also, um, I'll be getting toppings from over there, so I'll show it to y'all in a minute. Or I'll probably just grab the toppings thing and bring it over. I love <laughs> no, because like Gar uh, Garrett's popcorn, you can send to people. I uh, was sent a tub of Garrett's popcorn by my family um because I have family in Chicago and um I got the caramel and cheese blend which was Tyler and I's favorite like we love that blend um but yeah it was like unexpected I was like wait what and then when I looked it up and saw that there was one on the strip I was like I'll go I'll drive this strip like I'll drive to the strip because driving in like Baltimore, like if anyone's from Maryland on this live stream, if anyone's from the DMV, if you can drive in the DMV, know that you can drive in uh, Las Vegas and know that you will be superior in LA and California. Like you'll be frustrated and, and angry. You'll be like, Nyah! like, yeah, yeah. But in Las Vegas, like you'll be like good to go. You'll be like, yep. Because there's drunk drivers and there's all this crazy stuff. People driving crazy out here. Um, yeah, so like driving in the city is like, ooh. But, and at first I was so scared. Then I went to the strip and I was like, oh, okay. I'm in a truck. So like people are going to get out of my way. <laughs> like if I'm getting over, I'm getting over. Like I'm not asking you. I'm getting over. Like you either move or get hit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like move or we're getting in a fender bender right here right now bye maddie all right so let's start um this bark which is gonna be heating up the chocolate first i got this Ghirardelli chocolate from target um this bark is super easy i'm gonna try to keep this live stream under an hour um also, I want to hear from you guys real quick, if you don't mind, before I start. I want to hear from you guys um, because I have, and I, I have, like, some stuff I wanted to run by you guys. Bye, Cadence. <laughs> Sap, like, yeah, no. See, the thing is, is that, like, my family friend in the Valley, she was like, nobody drives. Like, she was like, honestly, if I could give up my car, I would because... She lived on the beach at one point, like oceanfront, and was like, nah, driving's not even worth it. I mean, if I was oceanfront, I wouldn't drive either. <laughs> but, um, so, I wanted to, hold on, let me look at Chicken Nuggets' comment about Culver's. Sorry, it's like shaking because I'm trying to scroll up. Oh, oh! in a part of California, you will have to go three hours to get Culver's. And my cousin will drive three hours and get six burgers. <laughs> Where is it? Where in California? <laughs> Where? I need to know. Asking for a friend. <laughs> Not me getting on a flight. <laughs> I'm going to drive. I'll drive. What did my cats just break? That better not, that better not have been the on the Christmas tree or one of the ornaments. I can't with them. So I wanted to run by you guys, um, me doing a Q and A for one of the Vlogmas um, videos. And if I do a Q and A for the Vlogmas video, like I think I'm gonna do multiple Vlogmases that include a Q and A because there's a, there seems to be a lot of questions. But what category of Q&A do you guys, like, would you guys want, um, like, for a Vlogmas? 
Um, also, for one of the Q&As, my mom wants to be a part of it. So you can, you can also have questions for her too. So that's a fun thing, but yeah. What type of stuff would you guys like want me to answer or like for me and my mom to answer? Like what category? Like I can talk about skincare, I can talk about mental health, I can talk about um, shopping, fashion, food, coffee, Christmas gifts, bougie on a budget, DIY ideas, like, I don't know, co like content creation. Hey, courts. Okay, sapling. Coming through, I just screenshot it. So sapling says that I should do a monthly Q&A live or community post and then a long form. Yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to do is gather questions for the long form or for long forms and I'm not sure. And I, of course, if there are different categories of questions, let's say like, there's a question, let's say that <laughs> the first question is, um, you know, what what's the budget skincare that I should get? And then the second question is like, you know, like, like, how do you deal with loss? Like, I would want to separate those because if I got enough of a certain category, I'll separate them. What's up, courts? I'm reading the chat. Okay, so yeah, you all want me to make a community post? Okay, I can do that. Yeah, that'll be easy. Because then the questions will all be right there. And if you want, in the because like I don't know in the thing maybe say like if you want your username shown or not because I can say you know so and so ask blah 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 or I can say just j anonymous I don't know I need to watch somebody else's Q&A and see how they do it <laughs> uh tell us about her being a death doula yeah for sure um it's taxing on her for sure I can do it yeah Christmas gives like best Christmas gifts like best place to go Fashion home goods. I'm screenshotting just so I know. Content creation as well. Um, because in, uh, I'm, so the first series of my Vlogmas is um, like my trip to California. And then after that, it's going to be just like continuous Vlogmas. But in the next Vlogmas that I'm posting, it's super inspirational. I want you guys to like seriously listen because Swoozy talks and he's like, he joined YouTube the first year that YouTube was created. And he, like, he does, he does, like, animation and stuff like that. But, like, he, like, I took a video of, like, his speech when he received his award. And he talked about how, um, like, you can, like, make YouTube, like, your job, basically. Like, and how he went from, like, his bedroom to, like, interviewing the president <laughs> like through YouTube um it's super inspirational for anyone who wants to like do content creation I get a lot of questions people will be like oh you content creation blah, blah. but I feel like hearing someone hearing someone just say something like that it's really inspirational because there's a lot of technical questions of course but that's super inspirational so mental health dealing with grief skincare yep hold up What's up, bunny boo? Hi, Sophia. So exactly, Sapling, you're saying who because this man literally joined YouTube the first year it was, it dropped. Like, like in my, in my vlog, y'all will see that like the creative director is literally like, Swoozy is an OG. And when I say OG, he literally was on YouTube the first year that it came out. And like, she says that and like, I, I don't know what that was like. I wasn't, I wasn't even on then. But anyways, it's pretty cool. Um, ooh. Sapling's going to move to a nicer place in the next two months. Yes. Yeah, so there's a lot of people. My friend is a teacher, and a lot of her students say that they want to do YouTube. And, like, <laughs> there's a point in time no one would say that. Like, be like, what do you want to do when you grow up? Or, like, what do you want to do after, after high school? Or, like, what do you want to do? They'd be like, oh, YouTube. I want to do YouTube. And no one laughs at them now. They're like, okay. Because <laughs> you can. You really can. <laughs> so, anyways, let's get into this. Um, so, I'd love to, yeah, see somebody knows him. Um, so, I'd love to, 
I'll answer Q and A on a public forum, so I don't have to. I, my thing is, I don't like repeating myself a million times. I don't like being redundant. And in my life, IRL, people go, oh, you make videos. Oh my gosh, I want to do social media. Maybe you could show me. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, that's, I'm like, I'm like, no. Um, we're talking about like, uh, like M&Ms right now and that we love M&Ms. Like, like, no, like, we're not talking about that. It's like, I, I, it's not that I gatekeep. It's that, like, I'm not a beacon of information, of just free information for everyone to just get, like, I'm not a teacher. I, I'm not, I don't want to be a professor. I don't want to be a teacher. I don't think I'm a good teacher. Um, I only like saying things one time when I'm teaching and stuff like that. So it's like, people ask me, I'm just like, I don't know. They're like, how did you, you know, do X, Y, Z? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> And they're like, oh, and thanks. And I'm like, you're welcome. Anyways, all right. Um, oh, you, I was around, Mariah. I was around. Um, <laughs> sadly, <laughs> no, my bestie is a teacher and like she, like like her students, she's she's teaching younger. Um, her students are like, we want to do YouTube, we want to do this, we want to do that. And they're not, it's just changed. The narrative's changed because you can do other things. It's pretty cool. How to deal with bullies. Ignore them. Give them absolutely no attention. Uh, blow them a kiss. Smile. <laughs> It'll infuriate them. I mean, I, that's a bit dramatic, but basically pay them absolutely no mind. Be the queen that you are. Period. Because bullies are waiting for a reaction. If you don't give them a reaction, then what is there for them to fuel, be fueled by? themselves ah i love that for you sapling yeah this is live jordy um there's actually a, a thing that um you can record lives and post it as a live i'm like then that's not live have y'all ever watched one of those where it's pre-recorded and it's posted, what does that look like? Um, sorry, I'm just taking some time to just, I have, I just wanted to chit chat real quick before I get into this. Cause the, re the recipe doesn't take long. So people who come through and watch this after the fact, just scroll. <laughs> just scroll till, till I switch the camera and you see me pulling out the parchment paper. <laughs> if you don't want to hear me. <laughs> and yeah, they wait for reactions, ignore them and um, don't let them steal your joy. Actually, the best words of how to deal with a bully came from my darling husband. And that was that silence is the greatest weapon of all time. Silence is the trump card for those who are waiting for a reaction or waiting for you to speak. Don't speak. It'll have them like seething. Don't speak. Just continue on. Don't let, you know, don't let it affect you. Like, you know what I mean? Just, just don't, don't say anything. Like, just continue on. Don't, don't pay it any mind. And that was a lesson I had to learn from my husband because I was like, what are you talking about? I'm a Sagittarius. I'm very, I can be very confrontational. I like to have the last laugh. I like to have the last word. I used to as a Sagittarius. Now I'm turning 25 and my husband taught me like it was hard, but he taught me like saying nothing is way, it, it literally speaks so much louder than saying anything. Like if you just say nothing and I, I learned that from him and that's um, what I carry. That's what I carry today. And that's why a lot of people say like, they like the way that I handle bullies and stuff like that. I got it from my husband where he told me to just be silent and continue on and give zero reaction. Um, what do you do when they really anger you so much though? You give no reaction. Like you learn to give no reaction. I had to learn to give no reaction. It's very hard sometimes. Sometimes things like really, like you really, really, really want to give a reaction, like in the moment, walk away, walk away. Don't let them see the reaction. Don't give them the satisfaction. Um, yeah. 
You like premieres because you're talking to the community and watching it all at the same time. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll do that. Okay. Um, yeah, so they'll eventually move on because you give them nothing to work with. Exactly. Um, and someone said, just like me, they've learned the same thing. Silence speaks louder than words. And then you're not saying anything disrespectful and you're not saying anything that you regret. You're not saying anything that's like piling hurt upon her. You're not saying anything that you're just, you feel icky about. You're not saying anything at all. <laughs> What's there to be guilty over? Um, Sapling said they were bullied and didn't give in. It kept happening. Um, and then it stopped. That's great. I love that. And Sapling, know that if, if the way that I would jump in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone said um, they've seen a live like that. The creator was active in the chat. Okay, but the video seemed like any other video that they post. Okay. That's kind of cool. Silence is powerful. That's exactly what my husband said too. Silence is powerful. Thank you, Owl. It's like watching a regular video. Thank you so much, Jordy. So they followed me for Bougie on a Budget, but they saw my Veterans Day post and realized my story and I'm a shining light in the dark world. Thank you. The world is pretty dark right now. Um, yeah, that'd be cool if I posted a video that was me and I'm in the chat. <laughs> what if I critique myself? I'm like, why am I doing that? <laughs> okay, let me turn this around. My cat is right here, so he's gonna need to move, but he's jealous and attention hungry because the dogs were here all day and he doesn't like them. So he was hiding. Um, so let's turn this around. Get ready for the camera noises, y'all. <laughs> There's my cat. <laughs> You're gonna need to move, boo boo. That's like this. And then down some. <laughs> y'all get a good view of Galileo right now. Are y'all ready for my potpourri video? Because when I tell you it's gonna eclipse every other potpourri video, if you think you've seen aesthetic, you haven't seen anything. Just kidding. I don't have one of those things that comes out of the, the um, wall and fills the pot from the stove. How much do those cost? Does anyone have a pot filler? Um, how do you do that? I want one. And I want to know if it's like mad expensive or if it's just a niche thing that people do. And it's like just installing another faucet or something. Or if it's like the house has to like be all fancy and like do all this stuff. Cause like, I want a pot filler. Do y'all know? <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. Y'all want to see pumpkin? So she's actually asleep right now. She's very tired. Um, she's been playing all day with the other dogs. So she's asleep on the couch right now. Um, I have two cats and one dog. I know, he's just staring, I know. <laughs> yeah, so if the creator's in the chat, you guys like it. Hey from Chicago. Um, Sapling, that's very true. They're saying teachers gossip and they'll gossip about you being bullied and do nothing. Um, so, like, my bestie, she doesn't want to be a teacher anymore. Like, she doesn't like it. Um, she doesn't like... Like, or at least where she is. Like, sometimes teachers, like, literally move schools because it's, like, toxic. And that's sad, but it's a thing. And it depends, like, what you teach, too. Sometimes you have to teach every subject. Which, like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I have a bachelor's. I'm telling you right now, if you threw me in a classroom with kids, the only thing I'd be able to teach is English, which includes writing, literature, ABCs, da-da-da-da, grammar, and um, science, that's it. Math, no. I mean, two plus two equals four, but <laughs> I did pass trigonometry and pre-calculus. I got a A in both of them. But when I tell you my brain almost broke, my brain almost broke. Okay, so Sapling's aunt has a pot filler and she's, bougie on, she's a bougie on a budget queen. Can you ask her? I just screenshotted that because I'm gonna hold you to it. 
she's planning her son's wedding and she's going as cheap as possible. What do you mean? Because I've heard pretty cheap weddings. Like, I'm talking like, okay, I love how I'm like, I'm, I'm going to be preparing food and my cat is like right here. Like, really? Um, this is this is live with me, y'all. If, if, if this sets you off, I'm sorry. And I'll clean this up, but he's just going to be here for a second. <laughs> Um, I've heard people talking about my budget's a thousand dollars. My budget is less than a thousand dollars. And I'm like, well, two dollar tree we go. And then that's when you do it at a park, use mother nature. That's free. Do some sort of outdoor venue. Um, for me, for example, I had no money. We had no money when we got married. Are you kidding me? Um, my stepdad built us an altar out of wood. Like your family will come through. When you have a budget wedding, that's when the family comes through and they're like, all right, let's get this done. <laughs> like, all right, let's get this bread. Like, who's cooking type thing. Um, someone else says, Jordy says they have a bachelor's too and they do not want to teach. Yeah, same. Like, I have a bachelor's. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't want to teach. I don't feel like I'm a good teacher. All right, you need to move. No, you're not. You're not going to lay down, baby. I need you to move, baby. <laughs> this 20-pound cat. I'm just gonna scoot you. <laughs> Baby boy. Come here, move to the other side. He literally wants to be the center of attention. Okay. I don't want any hair on this, so hold on. Let me grab um, some cleaner real quick. <laughs> because this is a white chocolate and he was just laying down. I'm not doing it. Um. Yeah, my cat's the star of the show. So a plumber can install. It's less expensive if you do, if you do it when building, or don't have the tile that they have to drill through. You can call around and ask for estimates. Okay, yeah, I have the tile that they have to to uh, drill through. So basically, okay, are you? So I gotta I gotta build my own. <laughs> like yeah, I'm getting a house built. <laughs> not <laughs> like okay i don't know there's there's tile so that's my thing i was like is it gonna crack like i feel like if you took a drill to it the whole thing would just crack but it'd be cool to have a pot filler i'm just saying oh bunny boo yes this is a safe space oh okay chicken nugs yeah um I could make a Discord server. I could play Stardew Valley. I don't know. I could stream. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, fake flowers, Walmart candles, plastic chairs. Exactly. Like, you know, honestly, you could pull. I bet you could pull a wedding together for ten dollars. Don't clean nothing. My cats walk all over my life. Pink Christmas nails. I didn't get them done yet. Um. I could go after this live stream because um, they're open, but I don't know. I, it's either that or I go visit my bestie since my mom doesn't want to go to the holiday party. Because um, we, she's just like, like, you know, when you're just like tired and you just like, you committed to something, but like, you don't have, like, she didn't even have her, her shoes ready. Like she didn't have her outfit together. And we had two hours. Like, it's starting within the hour. So I was like, Mom, I don't know. Like, you're asking a lot. Like, we had to pull a whole outfit together for you within two hours. And we need to be there early because there's traffic. Drive across the city. Like, I don't know. And then she was, like, kind of like, you know, I was like, I don't know about all that. Like, let's just do the horses instead. Thank you, Paulina. Um, read in the chat. Where's my other kitty? Copernicus is very shy. He was a daddy's boy. Um, that really was Tyler's cat. Uh, he was a, he's an office kitty. Loves being in the office. He was always on Tyler's computer. Um, he's shy. I also think that he's, um, like, I think he has, um, like neurological, uh, differences than Galileo because like for example he doesn't respond to being uh, sprayed with a spray bottle of water he gives absolutely no reaction to that whatsoever 
if he's doing something, you have to pick him up and like put him elsewhere and he'll just keep coming back and back, but you need to just pick him up and put him elsewhere because he doesn't respond to anything like disciplinary or like whatever. Like he's different. Um, and I love him for that. And I just accommodate him. So, and I make sure that when my friends come over and stuff, they're not like mean to him and they understand that he's different. Um, and that like, than Galileo, meaning like you can't just go up to him and just grab him the way that you can grab Galileo. He's not gonna, he don't like that. That's my baby. So I know him very well. <laughs> Someone said, I believe you have to have a water line to include another water faucet. A bit pricey, but worth it. A bit pricey. You had me at a bit pricey. <laughs> What's up, Blair? Where's Pumpkin? She's asleep on the couch over there. She's on her throne. Oh, sorry, I'm reading the chat, y'all, real quick. Buttercup. Um, so Bath and Body Works is having a sale. Um, someone says they're about to do my master's, and it's like, how are we adults and y'all still bullying? <laughs> you want to talk about? Yeah, I'm turning 25, quarter of a century, 25 years old, and I'm dealing with bullies that are like 50. <laughs> Pushing like 50, like baby, that bullies go all the way. I mean, people are on their their last breath still saying something. Um, it it bullies go from age little conscious coming to consciousness all the way to like elders can be bullies. Literally. Ah, oh, someone said they got married at the chapel in Vegas. Yes, I am going to visit my bestie. That's what my mom said, too. She was like, go visit your bestie. Go, get your nails done. Go, get, go see your bestie. And I was like, okay. Oh, someone's working on their last year of their PhD in psychology. And they're, ter they're terrified to go back into the classroom because of the students, professors. Wait, hold up. Because they're terrified to go back into the... I'm sorry, Nicole. I'm having to read this twice. Um, they're working on their PhD in psychology. And they're terrified to go back into the classroom. Professors, teachers, students are basically... Their lives are in danger. Funny that you say that because there was a, um incident that happened at the University of Las Vegas... You can Google it. I'm not going to explain it on live, nor this live stream, nor do I want to talk about the details of it. I'm just going to say that I completely get it. And I was terrified the other day knowing that some place that I lit the, the building that I literally would go to was the build was, was the building. Like I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm never going back. I'm never going back to that campus ever again. I'm done. Mm -mm. no and tell me why the like no uh-uh and tell me why i got weird vibes tell me why i took the stairs once and every other time i took the elevators i was like i don't know i don't know i felt weird sometimes my intuition is like on point um, and this wasn't recent by the way this wasn't like you know like right before anything it was just just in general, I, I was in that building and I just felt some type of way. Felt eerie vibes, weird vibes. I pick up on like energy and stuff. I hope you guys don't think I'm like crazy. Let me read the chat so I, I know no one thinks I'm crazy. Um, and it's actually like absolutely tragic here in Vegas. In Vegas. Um, we've had like absolute tragedies happen recently. Yeah, sapling. Go ahead and drop advice and y'all y'all can just chat. And yeah, bullies can be full grown adults. And yeah, you can have 56 year old bullies. I mean, I'm, I have a bully in my life that's probably pushing 70. And I'm like, baby girl, really? <laughs> but you know what? They have no um, age range. 
So I don't even put it past. I'm like, okay. I'm 70 saying something to a 25 or 24 year old. Like, you're going to get met with silence. Um, let me grab. So what you're first going to do is, you know, put the parchment paper down. Um, and sorry, I'm a bit savage when it comes to bullies because I'm like, y'all, I just want bullies to stop. <laughs> no, there wasn't any bullying going on here. We're just talking in general. Other people were saying that they are getting, they are getting bullied or they've been bullied in their lives. And I said that silence is the best way to deal with bullies and that bullies, um, can go from little children all the way to like elder age, 70 plus. Um, where my, wait, hold on. I'm trying to, oh, okay, sorry. I read that wrong, Jordy. What's my background? Where are my parents from? They're both from Maryland, both my parents. Um, yeah, there's no bullying in this chat, y'all. It's all right, it's all right. No, <laughs> no, we freaked out. We're just talking about it. Um, Oh my gosh, sapling. So they, yeah, they have a paper that's due and they're stressed about it. And like the grade is a lot and it, like it has a lot of weight to it. And they're stressed about the like the paper and it makes them wanna just like break down. I'm glad to give you some serotonin right now. And I'm such a writing wizard. I wish I could just <laughs> for you. I swear, <laughs> I'm literally like, a, I, I can, I can crank out a paper in like less than an hour. Like I'm ready. When I tell you I'm ready for grad school, I am ready for grad school. Like I can crank that out. I'm like, let's go. I'll be like, duh, 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 duh. like one hour to spare. No problem. That's Sagittarius energy though. But you know what? I mean, the D's us every time. So and my husband taught me that too when he he had to test for um, certain things. And I'd be like, are you studying? And he'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, okay, when? Wh like, when are you studying? Because I have not seen you study once. Like, this was after like months of him being like, yeah, yeah, I'm studying. I'm like, okay, when? And <laughs> he's like, I'm good, okay? Don't worry about me. And I'm like, all right, all right. Because he was extremely smart extremely smart so I was like all right I trust you all right everybody's different he's like I'm I I'm good he came through he passed like <laughs> he came through and passed and was like yeah like I was like all right I am never gonna say anything again you know what <laughs> you do you boo because I was like I don't see you studying like are you gonna study like are you good I just want to make sure you're good like do you want help like do you want me to help you like type thing because like I haven't seen you like crack it open like and this man just showed up and was like bibbidi bobbidi boop <laughs> so I don't know and yes I love I love to write I love to give my opinion and my dad said the grad school is a lot about giving your opinion and giving your stance and backing it up and I'm like perfect I'm perfect at doing that Uh, sapling saying mental health or a grade, man. Uh, what am, what are we making? We're gonna make some holiday. Bread. So you're gonna take this Ghirardelli white chocolate, these wafers. It is a reasonable bag. You can use a mug. I'm gonna be using this Vegas mug that I believe my dad got for me before we moved here. Let me fill it up. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to melt this down, stir it, and then I'm going to pour it and spread it. Um, so I'm going to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds. You're going to do like, you're going to do like 30 second or so intervals with, with the chocolate because like we learned last time, you don't want to overdo it. And then I have these little Petit Po glasses. Shout out to Petit Po. 
I love you, Petit Po. I keep their glasses after I'm done. They make, like, French meringue desserts. Um, and I keep the glasses, and I um, wash them. You can put seedlings in here. You can also use it for chocolate purposes. I think it's really good for baking, these little tiny ones. These also are good for espresso. I can't wait to post my potpourri video because it's so aesthetic. Like, y'all are gonna be shook. <laughs> um. Oh, sapling, I know you're great at writing. You don't need to say that. I know you are. And I understand being stressed. I totally do. You can, yeah, you can be stressed regardless. <laughs> you can have everything going right in your life and still be stressed and anxious. Um, you can be scrited, which is a, alert, a word I learned recently. Scared, excited. Um, so yeah, basically, sapling saying like this grade will make or break them. So their teacher doesn't have empathy. Mm, shocking. <laughs> I say that because like my teachers, they have no empathy. I was getting kicked out of class every day in history class in high school. I was not a good student. He was like, get out. <laughs> he was like, get out. Because I was a talker. Like, I'm the type of person where, like, you think that I'm not paying attention. And you think that, like, you think I'm not paying attention because, like, I'm talking and I'm social butterfly. Da, 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 da. So you're like, all right, get out. And then you hand me the test and I pass the test with an A. It's like, okay, yeah, I was paying attention. I don't need to sit here. Like, high school infuriated me. High school, I, I did not like high school. It wasn't, it wasn't meant for my type of brain, my type of thinking and my type of um, learning style. And I felt stupid because of that. And I cried and I wept to my mom and I said, I'm stupid. Like, I'm so stupid. Like, I'll never be good enough to go to college and I'm never going to be able to do college if I was so bad at, like, the math in high school that I'm looking at the test, you know, writing my name down, looking at it and turning it in blank and walking out the classroom. Like, you know what I mean? And so that was because I had a major loss in my life, too, which was my grandma Shirley, which I explained in the last live, um, that I didn't go to college. Following her death, I went to community college instead because I wasn't able to pull myself together mentally. Um, which was something that happened to my husband as well. Um, cause he had a loss in his life and then he, he went to college. So we shared that, which was nice. Cause he was the first person that I felt really understood me. Um, but yeah, I felt really stupid. And then all of a sudden I got to college and well, no, I met Tyler and he said to me, like, you're the smartest person I've ever met and all this. And I was like, what? And like, I don't know. He showed me like what, what, like what I was worth. And I showed him what he was worth. Like we reciprocated each other's like, like cheering each other on for our endeavors as we grew into adults. Like he was like, you're smart. You can do college. And he, he, like, he boosted me up that I was like, okay. And then I did college and like through college, I realized that I'm not, I wasn't stupid. I just was a fish trying to climb a tree. You know what I mean? So know that I'm, I'm just giving my two cents right now without reading the chat. I'm giving my two cents, but you know, you can be a fish trying to climb a tree sometimes. Put this in for another 30 seconds. Um, and so when I went, when I got to college, that's when my learning style um, excelled and I started acing absolutely everything. And I even had one class that was marine biology that was, there was no due dates for anything. She was like, the professor was like, okay guys, here's the material. Um, the semester ends in like three months or whatever. Like you just have to turn it in before um, the end of the semester, including the final exam. 
it's like all the materials right there. And she's like, it's up to you to, to manage your time. You could do it all in one day. You could do it, you know, you could follow a schedule. It's on you. And like, I even did good with that because they give you options. That's not available in high school. It's you you go to school all day and then you come home and you got, you know, six hours of homework. All right. So this is nice. And this is the consistency we want right here. I feel like a chocolatier right now. Who's going to see Willy Wonka with Timothy? Me. And I don't care if I have to go alone because if my girlfriends don't want to come with me, I will be going alone and I will be simping regardless for Timothy. That's my celebrity crush. Timothy, if you ever watch this, um, know that I liked your role in um, Little Women. <laughs> All right, take this. Dump. Satisfying. Okay, now you're gonna grab like some sort of spreader of sorts. Silicone is better. You wanna do this while it's um while it's wet so that you can get it into a thick like you want it to be bark, but it needs to be thick enough to be bark. You don't need to fill up the entire cookie sheet if you don't want to. And y'all, this takes a lot of brain power, so I'm not looking at the chat right now. <laughs> Cause y'all probably like, why does that take brain power? It does. Okay. A little bit of pitting right here, so we're gonna do more chocolate. More wafers in here. I have two of these. I wasn't sure how much I was gonna need for this. Like for this, like I could have made probably three hot cocoa bombs from that amount of chocolate, like three or four, maybe more. Cause what I do is a very thin coat. And when the molds come in, like, I'll do it, but, like, they're not here. And it was, it hit me with the uh, arriving by 10 p.m. And I was like, seriously, you said it would be here in the morning. Sometimes I check my, like, cameras and, like, they'll be like, it'll be like a man, like, walking up to my house at, like, 3 a.m. And I'm like, what is going on? And he's, and he's in, like, a, in a car. And it's Amazon. <laughs> it's Amazon. And I'm like, What? Like, they literally send their people out, like, in, like, not the delivery trucks, like, cars, like, Toyota Corollas, but they got the Amazon thing on. Um, so, no, chicken nugs, we're not doing, we're doing holiday bark because I don't have the molds for hot cocoa bombs. So, I'm going to change the, <laughs> I'm going to change the title of the live to hot, holiday bark after the fact. But it's still going to be delicious, and we're still going to do hot cocoa bombs. I just literally don't have the mold, so I physically couldn't do it, and I was really upset. But trust me, I wanted to. You're not meant to fail, sapling. You're not meant to fail. You're simply not. And, it, and it's not that you're not built for the coll like college, class it, uh, college classes. No. You belong there, just like everyone else. And you're plenty smart. Like I said, don't ever, you know, you know, you might be a fish climbing a tree like me. Like, I spent so many years being like, I'm stupid. I am so far from stupid. I can't even believe that I used to talk about myself like that. I'm so far from stupid. Like, I'm smart. And you can say that without having an ego, like, because I used to call myself stupid. So it's like, no, I am smart. Like, I got a whole degree. I got a STEM degree. Like, your girl did that. <laughs> okay. 
This might need a little bit more time. Let's see. Come try to read the chat. I'm so sorry to hear that sapling. They're trying really hard and they're barely getting by. That's really relatable. They're trying their best and it's just barely enough. And that hurts sometimes. Like literally that can be heartbreaking sometimes. Um, but I just want you to know that everything is temporary, literally. Literally everything is temporary. And when I tell you that, I'm telling you that as a woman who lost her husband. Told everything, you know, I was told things are temporary. I was like, thank God. Because if things weren't, if everything wasn't temporary, then we, then, yeah, uh-uh. That's the beauty of it. It's saying that everything is temporary is double-sided. It's a dual-sided sword. You guys can decipher that as you wish. Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Stop it. Merry Christmas. Y'all, what would you do if I released a Christmas album? Would you listen to it? And all I did was sing Christmas songs or ones that I made myself. Would you listen to it? Someone says they hate high school. That's when their depression was the worst. And that's when it hit first. Yep. <laughs> that's why I said in my last live, December 6, 2015, my life changed forever. My life changed and I was never the same girl. The girl that I was December 14th, 2015 is a girl that I am so far from. And that was the day that my grandma passed away. And that was the day that I was, you know, awoken to, you know, depression and, you know, like becoming an adult and losing like 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 loss and like big loss and seeing things that aren't pleasant to see things that haunt the mind like that was my opening to that and i never got over it really but now i feel like i am like this year's the first year I really felt like I made some sort of progress in terms of my mental health and my grandma. Because every year I'm usually like hysterical. I have to take the day off of work. Like the entire day is done for. Like, I, like. okay, so now that it's wet on the top, it's getting kind of hard on the sides. Okay, we're gonna add our toppings. But yeah, high school is a lot, like high school is when I figured out, you know, how anxious I was. Like I got my first speeding ticket and I felt like I was, I, I felt like my, my, like my throat actually closed. Like it was like, you know, high school was when I had my first like, you know, major like loss and like major panic attacks, and, like being introduced to like stuff like that. So it's a pivotal time for a lot of people. It's a, it's a beautiful time as well. It's also a pivotal time. Bye Grace. Good night. Oh, I love your profile picture by the way. And yeah, stop being like, I literally, and yeah, like you've had depression. Okay. So some people have, yeah, like that's also a thing. Some people, have, um, just have depression and it's absolutely nothing to sit here and be like i i'm i'm broken i'm flawed i can't ever be happy blah 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 nope nope dismiss those thoughts right then and there you cannot help if you have clinical depression you cannot help it like you cannot ha like i can't sit here and be like Bibbidi -bobbidi -boop. 
and all of a sudden I don't have panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, da 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 da. Like, that's just simply not how it works. Depression falls right there as well. I'm an advocate for that to just say that. Um, depression gets discounted. Oh, they're just sad. Cheer up. Da 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 da. The human condition, in my opinion, is that people don't truly empathize unless they have that empathy. People who don't already express a certain level of empathy simply cannot understand unless it has happened to them or it's happening to them. They just simply can't truly empathize and understand. That's just how I feel about certain things. I chalk it up to that because it's happened so many times for me. Um, Becky, you, Becky, you need to, you deserve to be here as much as any, the rest, anyone else. And like, you are loved by me, by everybody. Y'all shower her in love, please. You are, you are worthy on this earth. God needs you here. And I'm like, it's sad to read that, but I like seeing that I've helped you because like, it, that, that breaks my heart that you felt that way. And I hope that you're able to get um, the help that, um, you might or might not me. So we're doing um, crushed candy cane first on our bark. Um, and know that the 988 lifeline is something that you can dial for any sort of crisis. Um, and there's a separate line if you're a veteran. Um, you dial, um, I believe it's one if you're a veteran. I did a fundraiser for them um, on my Instagram. And I think it's a lovely organization, so I won't throw that out there for Becky. It looks good. Y'all think it looks good? Yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. Y'all see Pumpkin's little llama all the way over there? That's her little toy. <laughs> yeah, Becky, I love you. We love you. You're beautiful. God made you for a purpose, baby. Preach it, Melissa. Don't you ever forget that. Preach it, girl. Love you, sister. Period. Yup. God made you for a reason. God made you so that you could shine right here on earth. God made you just the way that you are. He handcrafted you. All of us. Hold on. So with the bark, it gets to a point where you don't want to add too much because, yeah, see that right there. It turns into the bark. So what we're going to do is I'm going to drizzle and then I'm going to add sprinkles, which I don't know why this triggered so many people. You know, it's funny because like I have mild OCD, like actually, right? So when, when I trigger someone um, in terms of organization or something, I'm like, uh, I, I'm like, okay, why wasn't I triggered? They were triggered that I did all the sprinkles in one container. But truthfully, you know who I was thinking about? Sapling. I was like, I, why would I put, okay, I could have put the the red here, the green here, the balls here, and the, the big boys here. But then I would have wasted, like, for what? <laughs> I can put a marshmallow and all this candy and all this and use this little station. I was like, I'm just going to dump them all in. And it's like literally layered, but it set people off. They were like, this is setting me off. I was like, what? They're like, why would you, why would you mix them? And I'm like, wait, what? Um, this is milk chocolate. <laughs> you 
he would have been triggered. I'm just... <laughs> That's funny. Like, I, I do too, but this didn't trigger me. This actually made me feel very satisfied to see the layers. I was like, <gasps> I don't know. I'm going to heat up some more um, chocolate in here. And I'm going to do a drizzle. Um, I don't have any... Hmm, let's see. I'll just do a white juice. This is just going to be all white chocolate. I'll just use the rest of this. Because, like, I don't feel like... I don't, I don't have any dye. And also... Um, I could throw a dark chocolate truffle in here, but I don't know how that's going to melt. And I don't want to ruin this because it looks good. So I'm going to heat up this small amount here. Um, I'm going to transport this. To the petite pal. Just because it's a, just like a small amount. I just realized that like, it'll be better in here. Okay. I'm changing the song, it's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna put this little jar in the microwave for like, 15 seconds. La 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 la. Booby Jolly. Jana says their son is very about even numbers. And if there's a three or five of something, he gets rid of extra. I'm more about color or size. Yeah. Um. That seems to have to do with like pattern recognition, patterns, uh, like, like, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's out. I'm gonna try to, yes, this is bark. It's bark, sorry y'all. Yeah, I wasn't able to secure the molds for the hot cocoa bombs, so I'm coming through with some bark. But I'm going to change the title afterwards so that <laughs> people aren't like, whoa, what is this? Um, and when I have the hot cocoa bomb molds, I'm going to go live again and do hot cocoa bombs on live. But they're not coming tonight until 10 p.m. So that's really annoying. And, and sapling, exactly. Like, um, um, sapling, my, my husband used to work with um what is it adult i think it was adults with autism high functioning asperger's other stuff like that and like um he like because i'm in the horse world there's a lot of people who own horses who um also are like autistic or um, high functioning Asperger's because you know, horses are literally therapeutic um, but that's li literally a common thing at least it was in Maryland um, and, and Virginia and um, my husband and I were able to like kind of bond over that too where I was like okay I feel like you know like he was able to help me um, help me with like you know things like Copernicus, like how we, we were pretty sure that Copernicus, our cat, like maybe has like cat autism or something. You know, we like, he knew exactly how to like accommodate. Um, and I was always one of those people where I was like, if we had a baby and you know, like it needed to live with us forever. Like I just built it a guest house. Like I don't see the big deal. Like I just make enough money and be successful enough that I'd have a giant estate with a guest house and my child can live with me forever. <laughs> like it's God's child. Oh, I'm sorry about that sapling. Asperger's is an outdated term and the autistic commentary doesn't like functionality labels. 
Thank you for enlightening me on that. Yep, and go to your school counselor. They can help you. Mm -hmm. Talk to your guardian. And yeah, there's also your GED too. Bye, Layla. What's up, Dalton? No, Sapling, I was trying to say, I was saying, it was directed at you. I was saying, um, thank you for that. Because, like, I, I'm not, like, I'm not trying to be um, saying information that's not correct. So Asperger's being an outdated term. That's something I definitely need to know because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to offend anybody. I want to, I want to be able to say the right thing of what I'm trying to say. And, and truthfully, I think extremely highly, like be, just because of my, my own experience, like at the barn and stuff like that. So here's the loose texture that we want so that we can get some bark. So I'm going to drizzle this and then I'm going to put the M&Ms. I'm not doing marshmallows. I don't want that because we're putting in the freezer and then I'm going to do sprinkles. Sprinkles. Dalton, don't worry. I'm going to call you back. I saw that you called me. I'm going to, I'm going to call you back. But when you called me, my mom was over. Buttercup says they're waiting to have a baby until they can support the baby who needs anything. Meaning if they need to take them to a children's hospital daily, if need be, they'd have the means to do so. Yep. <laughs> Wouldn't, yeah, in a perfect world, right? Yep. Yep. Hi, Maddie's brother. Shout out to Dalton. My brother's on. So Mariah says, my boyfriend is a veteran and does horse therapy as well. We live in Colorado, so he gets to go out on the public trails. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And Sapling, I'm sorry to hear that. They said that they used to journal, but their privacy was invaded. I'm sorry about that. Everybody deserves basic privacy. Um, right, Chicken Nugget? Dalton is my brother. I know, I love this community. Okay, thank you, Melissa. A S. So I just want to say this on live so that y'all know that I'm literally learning. I'm like not. I'm trying genuinely. I and it was a genuine mistake. A S D is the correct term for correct term for Asperger's, and it means autism spectrum disorder. Thank you so much, and I'm gonna screenshot that just so I know for the future, so that um I don't sorry, so that I don't make the same mistake twice and say the wrong thing. Okay, this is still wet. I love these, but yeah, this is why I love these petite pot ones. All right, we're gonna take this. We're gonna do a little drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle. It's not perfect, but it's giving. And I promise you, it's gonna taste really good. But we need this so that the other um, toppings will stick. So, oh no, should I go this way? Yeah, YOLO. It was too late. I had to commit to it. Okay, so we have like crisscross going on. This is gonna be busting when it's ready, so don't judge a book by its cover, but to be honest, it looks good. Let me move it closer. A little drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> Reading the chat real quick. Oh, if I wanted to know about the functionality labels thing, it's based on how neurotypical people perceive ASD people. It's not fair. Right. I want to be as educated as possible. I always love to be as educated as possible, especially if I'm speaking on literally anything. Um, this is milk chocolate, by the way. 
Oh, what's up, Penelope? So having said, I don't like to see. Yeah. So they're talking about journaling and like just basically like privacy getting invaded and stuff like that. All right, so we're gonna do M&Ms. Oh, the ASMR. Y'all, if you think this is ASMR, just wait till I post my potpourri video after this live. Do some sprinkles, some sprinkles. So we got the little ball ones and then the big boys. <laughs> I don't know what else to call them. <laughs> this looks good, okay. I'm proud of myself. I might do this again for like a video video, okay. Got sprinkles going everywhere. Okay. It's giving. All right. Now this goes in the freezer. Y'all don't like the ball sprinkles, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Sapling's an expert. Not to brag, but I came to the right place to know about ADHD, ASD, and other disorders like that. I appreciate it. Oh, making bark with graham crackers? What do you mean, like graham, graham crackers on the bottom or the top? Let me put this in the freezer. Okay, it's in the freezer. So then it shouldn't take long. It should take like maybe five minutes or so to harden all the way. And then what you want to do with this so it doesn't get like ruined is put water in this now. Go put it in the put it in the sink and just soak it now. Same with this, because once it gets hard, it's ruined. Meaning like the chocolate's literally not gonna come off. Emma Slay says, you're my favorite YouTuber. I love you. Right? Yeah, y'all did the right thing. Jump on that when it comes on my live. What's wrong? And so, um, what's wrong with what Sophia said is that th that's not what this live is about. Um, and it's irrelevant. Any comments, commentary about my husband is like, it's removed from this live because he's my husband. My live, my channel, my roles, my moderators, you get removed, you get removed. Unless you're gonna say something that's positive. If you're gonna say something that's stirring the pot, you're gonna say something that's like, God forbid out of pocket about my husband. Like, you're going to hit him for my channel. And if you have an issue with that, get off YouTube. That's why there's moderation. And that's exactly like... <laughs> All right, let me put these in the sink to soak. 
Oh, and that's also a prime example of silence. Bully, delete, silence. Here's my hot cocoa bar stuff and we just, I love that so much. Yeah, you're good, chicken nugs. Someone said they want something sweet. <laughs> Hold on, I'm reading Sapling's comment real quick. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Also, somebody brought up. Yeah, silence, silence speaks volumes, guys. Um, and someone brought up air fryer um, s'mores. Should I get an air fryer? Because I feel like everyone has one but me. Um, I never got an air fryer. I never got an Apple Watch. I never got AirPods. Um, I don't know why. I just didn't. And I don't even have an air fryer. And I feel like people talk about air fryers. They're like, oh, I threw this in the air fryer. I threw this, da, 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 da. And they cook these meals. I'm like, should I get one? And if so, like, should I get like the Dash brand? Or should I get like a fancy one? And is the fancy one even worth it? I should get an air fryer. It'll change my life because I'm tripping. Okay. Thank you, Brandy says, I love the way you did your cocoa bar. It was so cute. And the Christmas trees for sale tray is so cute. It's from Target. It was only $5. You're the sweetest person ever. I really hope you're doing well. Your channel inspires me to keep motivated. Thank you so much. Keep being the person that you are. Thank you so much, Riley. Bunny Boo got Indian dinner for, or Indian food for dinner. Mm, did you get naan? Okay, so I'm going to move this back and then I'm going to switch the camera around because I'm going to try the bark. Actually, I'm going to put this back and then, yeah, I don't know how long. The bark wasn't that thick, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't take that long to dry. But at the same time, I don't know. My potpourri is still going strong and I'm like, yeah this in the sink. I didn't use this one, so I'll put it back. I love to clean as I go. Anyone else? Like, when I was younger, I used to just, like, leave stuff out. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll get it in the morning. Nope. Now that I'm, I'm turning 25, I'm, like, cleaning as I go. I'm not doing the dishes. I'm just putting them in the sink. It's the point of putting them in the sink. Like, I don't do the dishes every day. That's never gonna happen. I don't care. And you know what? I paid the mortgage. <laughs> I'm not going to do the dishes. But when I feel like it, that's the beauty of it. The ninja one's good. Okay. Thank you, Pepper Girls. Oh, they got a Ninja 6 on Black Friday for $80 when it's usually $200. Okay. Garlic naan. Yes. Let me switch this around. All right, we camera sounds, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna say that every time now that y'all were like, oh the camera sounds. Let's switch this. What's up? So I said next level for cooking for air fryer. And OMG, your house is literally my dream home. It's so pretty, thank you. It's my dream home too. That's why I do so many things at home. And people are like, why have you decked the halls to the extent that you've decked the, ha the halls and da, da 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 Because I love this house. Like, I love the kitchen. I love this house. I love, like, I love it. It's my dream house. 
like, I have space, like, y'all see that? I have space above the cabinets to do, I wanted to do a Christmas village, but like, and like the black, like, I'm 24, like, this is my dream house, I love this house. I love it, every part about it. Even my pebble yard, because I'm in a place where there's no grass. And the people that have grass have to water it like multiple times a day and do like all this stuff just to keep the grass alive. And I'm like, why don't we stop trying to plant grass in the desert when it's 120 <laughs> with no shade? Like meaning like no shade cover on the grass in the summer and you want it to grow. It's like, just, just do rocks. That's kind of how I feel about Las Vegas when I see people. And I've heard that they're trying to get rid of the grass thing. They're trying to have discourage people from doing grass in residential areas, perhaps, um, allegedly. I love you too, Olivia. Um, and oh, Penelope said, I so ramp it soon. Yes, soon. I'm manifesting it for you. Sarah says, you're so gorgeous, sweet, and genuine. I just love it so much. Thank you. I do need to get an air fryer. MG says, Maddie, you're so inspirational, intelligent, and inspiring. I've been here through your ups and downs because of YouTube. It's such a blessing you're on here and making content for us. Thank you. That means a lot to me um, because I easily could have walked away. Like, just period, end of discussion. <laughs> So, yeah, like I'm happy to be here too because I, I choose to be here every day because I want to be here because I love film and I love connecting and I love what I do. I just simply do. And I feel like that kind of shines through. I just simply love it. And that's why I never miss a day. It's because it's like you don't ever miss a day doing something that you absolutely love and something that ignites the fire in your soul. You don't miss a day. It'd be like missing a day of listening to your favorite music or like missing a day of like doing something that you absolutely love. You feel incomplete without doing it. Um, like, and of course you don't do it for the money. You do it because you love it. And that abundance just follows. You don't even think about that aspect. You just think about what you're doing. So that was advice that I heard recently. That was cool too. Um, I love content creation. Yes, I do. I love it. Love, love, love it. It's so fun. And I am getting a camera. Wanted to let you guys know that. I wanted to announce before I get off this live because, of course, I was like, oh, it's going to be under an hour. Here we are at 88 minutes. Because um, <laughs> it's Friday night and I'm just chilling. Um, so I'm going to end this live with the fact that I will be buying a camera tonight. And... I, so I'm ordering it tonight. And with that camera, I'm going to be posting short films as well as high quality vlogs. Um, thank you, Riley. They said, God is with you through the ups and downs. If you ever need anything, you have us followers. Yes, I know. And that's why I love coming on live because you guys literally fulfill me. You fill up my cup, you fill up my soul. Um, and I love you guys. And it's the most beautiful community ever. Um, oh, so my necklace, chicken nuggets, um, what horse's hair is in here? Focus and um, Pearl and Benson, the big three. We call them the big three. But yeah, it's a horseshoe. Um, it's actually the shape of like a horse, like a frog would be like this, if you know horses. Um, the name of the camera. So I'm literally just going to get like a Sony. I'm going to get the Sony um, vlogging kit. I'm literally going to get the Sony camera. Like, because I'm able to accomplish so much with an iPhone, I don't see why I would jump from iPhone to something so technolog technologically advanced that I can't use it. It's not user friendly for me. So I figured I'd go to baby steps and do the Sony camera because it comes with the whole kit and it seems pretty easy to use. Now what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to be making short films. I'm going to be making a music video for the song that I helped come out with, but 
I'm also, aside from that, it's gonna be the birth of my short films. So aside from vlogging and doing my, you know, usual bougie on a budget, you know, come to the store with me, I'll bring the camera to the store, stuff like that. Um, I wanna do short films, it's like picture, and there's no purpose behind this other than art. The purpose is art. Um, I wanna do a series, a uh, nature series. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I wanna do a nature series of short films. Um, and I wanna do, um, I wanna do like, I don't know, like one that's like forest and it's like, my, it's like close ups of like plants and it's like aesthetics. Um, and then it's music that I compose and basically like it's a one man show. Like I'm doing everything. Like I'm filming, I'm um, editing, directing, starring, <laughs> like starring if, I, if need be and um, coming up with ideas just for little short films. There's no purpose behind it other than art. So yeah, just an idea that I felt like doing. How long is 86,000 seconds? <laughs> That's so funny. 24 hours. <laughs> um, pumpkin. She's asleep, guys. Like, she's asleep, asleep. She didn't even answer me. Um, yeah, the bullying video, yeah, it's going to be a part of the, Q, it's going to be a part of the Q&A with me and my mom. We'll do some questions and stuff like how to deal with bullies in your life, how to deal with adult bullies, how to deal with, um, hate, how to deal with being a, how to deal with like haters in your life, how to deal with uh having friends that don't support you or like family that doesn't support you or like you know stuff like that how to keep trucking on um stuff like that there's so many things we could talk about yeah i know i know i know sapling <laughs> i'm scorpio midheaven so i'm like prince energy i'm like this explain myself for what <laughs> Like I was talking to I was talking to my mom about Prince and I was like I absolutely love him, like he just simply was just like, yeah I did that, They're like why because <laughs> it's like that awkward silence and it's like okay King okay, <laughs> um but anyways but yeah I want to make some short films because um I want to start directing some films because I want to. So that's something that I realized that I want to do. So I'm going to make my own little films and put them on YouTube for you guys. And they're going to be aesthetic videos and they're going to bring emotion. So wonder. Okay, that was weird. Did you guys hear that? Who heard that the second I said wonder? Did y'all hear that the second I went wonder? Something fell. Like, okay, am I the only one? Yeah. Ha! I love when stuff happens like that on live. Ah, uh, that was so weird. I mean, I love when stuff like that happens. I'm like, what's up? Tyler, is that you? I'm so desperate. Um, it's called bargaining. It's the bargaining stage of grief. I'm so desperate for any interaction with Tyler that even that I'm like, yay because it's better than nothing but like what was that um it was a scoop that i put on so it was the kitty scoop for their food that i put um like on the trash can lid like on the other side of the island I'm standing right here. I'm not touching the island. Nothing's touching the island. I literally was like, wonder. And it was like, boop. 
that's just, that just tells me that it's like meant to be. It tells me that like my energy's flowing and that like, like, you know, my angels are like, yup. <laughs> and sometimes they're like, if you guys like very happy Mondays this isn't on here, but like very happy Mondays has seen multiple times on my lives or random stuff has happened literally. And we've all seen it. And we've been like together, like the power went out one time randomly. Um, there was another thing with like stuff falling, like, yeah. Um, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Mrs. Dub. I'm saying Mrs. Dub because I don't want to. I don't want to say that wrong. I'm so, so sorry. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy to inspire you. You inspire me. I'm, I'm jealous of you that you got 17 years with your lovely, lovely spouse, your lovely husband. I, I wish that I got 17 years. Um, but I empathize with you 100%. Actually, in one of my, in my Vlogmas, I... Like, or in my vlog, or for a vlog post, like, last night I was really upset. Um, like, I filmed a part where, like, I explained, like, when I go to sleep, like, it's not like, I'm just like, all right, good night. <laughs> like, no, like, there are nights I sit there. I, I literally sit on the bed and I just, I go, <sighs> I'll just have a panic attack and I'll just start just absolutely just, so just sobbing, just sobbing. I like playing music. I like having stuff going on in the house because the silence is what gets me when there used to be so much noise. Um, and that's what I was kind of explaining and like the video that I'm gonna post as a part of one of my vlogs. Um, someone said when their dog passed away, their LED lights would flicker. What? Wait, hold on, I'm 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 going out. <laughs> hold on. So the the cocoa bombs, we did uh bark and said I'm about to take it out the, the thing. Someone said, wait, is he trying to feed the cats? Stop, because it's six. Oh, that's gonna make me cry. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it was the cat's um, food scoop. So yeah, maybe he was trying to feed the cats or tell me that it's the, it's time for the boys to get dinner. Sorry, y'all. Um, did I see a chicken nugget? I will, I will handle it after I get off this live. I'll handle it um, before I do my post. Um, uh, yeah, I'll deal with it after I'll look afterwards. Um, but yeah, that was a beautiful, um, comment that someone left me. So thank you for that. Um, see the, the thing is, is like, you guys are like, don't cry. The thing is like, I do cry very often. And I want to explain that in vlog messages. Like I do cry very often. Um, especially at night or like when things really remind me of Tyler and the things that we used to do together. Um, yeah, sometimes it makes me feel alone, um, but I don't know. I, but I'm not alone, but sometimes it makes me feel alone. But sometimes like I feel so alone that sometimes even a sign or even a small sign like that it just it's better than nothing and it makes me know that like someone's here with me things don't just move on their own like <laughs> what are we doing um but yeah i'm not gonna make this a sob session but 
Yeah, my heart hurts um, a lot, all the time. Uh -huh. Someone said my grandma's favorite, my grandpa's favorite thing was to remember him as a hummingbird. Yeah, I'll see the comment. I don't even think I can go to the tab from my my thing, but yeah, I'll see it. Um, I'm gonna get off, y'all. I am gonna post my potpourri video before it's too late. Um, and I'm going to figure out dinner, and I think I'm gonna go to my girlfriend's house, like planned, and hang out with her. Um, and yeah, so yeah, he is. Yeah, he is in my my heart. Um, y'all, please don't give attention to whatever comment it is. I'm just going to simply delete it. Please do not give it attention. Please do not fuel whatever it is. Like, please, for the love, like, just don't. I will, like, mitigate and moderate. Um, there's actually probably going to be a moderator on the channel soon who's not me. Um, and yeah, sometimes I feel alone. Um, because pretty much like, yeah, the, someone said they lost their husband. Oh, no, sorry. They lost their grandfather two days after your husband. And it helps so much. I'm really glad to hear that. And yeah, I, I don't hold it in. Um, I cry, I scream, I do whatever I do, whatever I feel like doing. Um, and... Like, like the reason that I love Prince, like, is because he didn't explain himself. He was just like, and there's power in that too, because for like Prince, I feel like Prince was like really ahead of his time. I feel like now in 2023, we're to the point where it's like, I don't have to explain myself ever um, to anyone. And I feel like back in the day, like we felt like we had we absolutely had to explain ourselves. Um, I think that when I weep, when I cry, I just, um, I cry for what once was. I cry for what could have been. And I cry for, I cry. I take on the pain and the guilt of the people who don't feel pain and guilt. I take on everything and I don't care that I do like I will graciously take it on because um I'm like this arms out like you're gonna have to get through me to get to him type thing um and I'll just I'll just end this with um that I do feel cut up all the time every day, but I continue on with life because I am living and I continue on with things that I, I like to do and things that are healing for me. Um, and yeah, I love Prince. <laughs> um, I just do things that is healing for me and yeah, like making bark and you know like baking and doing little DIYs or making potpourri and doing the things like that's what brings me joy and that's what makes me happy that and my horse so yeah um y'all don't time each other out <laughs> hold on hold up Okay, she okay, chicken nuggets didn't mean it. It's fine. Um thanks, Miss W. Thank you. They said they're crying with me. Thank you. Yeah. I cry a lot. Um and like I like I cry a lot and with the hate that I receive or any comments that I receive in real life or on the internet. When I feel pain inside of me, I think to myself, like, 
is this what other people feel or is this what other people go through? Because I'm not sure why we're still operating like this. And that's why I'm um, doing so much advocacy uh, because it matters to me. I mean, how could, it matters to me more than anything. It's like, it's my husband. Of course it matters to me. So I don't explain myself because I don't care to, I don't need to. So take my cryptic messages and do what you will with them. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna get off live and thank you for tuning in for my holiday bark and my therapy session of me crying over the comment of Tyler trying to feed the cats and him just chiming in. I don't know why he chimed in and made me cry, but I wasn't trying to do that on this live, but well um yeah i have this memory so yeah um all right y'all i'm gonna get off and um i love you guys i'm gonna take care of me tonight yep as paulina says um and i'm gonna continue to take it day by day um as i do um and yeah, I'll be back on for another live. I'm going to schedule it just like this one. And yeah. I know y'all are like, all the mods are going wild. See, my thing is like, I like freedom of speech. Like they, they can figure it out. <laughs> if I see something out of pocket, I'm, gonna, I'm going to step in. Oh, Dalton, I love you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. I do have a beautiful community that supports me and loves me. Um, through my, my darkest hour and through, um, through something that the beginning of 2023, I never would have imagined would have happened to me. So leaving 2023, I'm not reflecting on this year, like literally at all. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys for just continuing to be there for me like beyond so yeah i love you guys and i will be back on live soon so yeah also dalton don't be shook i'm talking to my brother real quick don't be shook i cry on live all the time <laughs> all right bye y'all i love you guys <laughs>